Uh, I think you have a nice view of uh, recession on the central incisors. And you'll note that um, the tissue is very thin there as well with um, no attached gingiva. Then tooth number 26 is missing. That's a cantilever prosthesis with a crown on the canine. Uh, very slight recession, but very thin tissue on the canine. And then recession um, on the uh, premolar number 28, a little bit on uh, 29 as well. Uh, 30 seems okay. So I might include uh, 29 in the procedure. You know, we have the choice of the two methods, the all tunnel or the um, alternating tunnel. And if we look at this um, with um, a probe and look at the interdental region, uh, there's nice space here in the sense that there is uh, integrity of the papilla from facial to lingual. Same thing here. This is a, a way of checking it. It's just pass the probe through and it gives you an idea of the width of the papilla at the crest. It's a little close here next to the uh, ponic, but of course there's no root in the tissue there. This is just going to be a bit of a um, challenge and um, it just means that if I am unable to go under this, I don't certainly need to elevate this, I just need to get underneath uh, the tissue in this region. If, it's, if it proves um, difficult, then we just make an entry incision to gain access. Um, so we come around the canine, again, very thin margin. I think you can appreciate that. Turn